Hi everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting for AbLab and Kid Point from Sound and Fun 2016. I'm with Harrison Smith in the new uh, Just Super Spell XL, which has a Titan engine, Titan engine from Continental. Harrison, we've been flying around this airplane. It's quite a remarkable airplane. Let's talk a little bit about the basics of this aircraft. Uh, it's really different than anything out there. It is an experimental amateur built, but it's designed to be really a high performance stall aircraft. Let's talk about some of the features. We got slats, uh, we got uh, big flaps on it. Tell, tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, a slatted wing with the uh, slotted Fowler flaps. Uh, we also have spoilers, aileron spoilers on the aircraft. Uh, helps with uh, uh, good roll control at slow speeds. And then coupled with the gear that uh, we can take real high descent rates right before touchdown, the gear will just absorb everything. Now, I noticed in flying this around uh, that it has uh, exceptionally good manners. Uh, you had me put it in a stall and uh, we aggravated that stall. No tendency to snap or roll over. It, 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 it seems to be very benign and uh, behaves itself. Function of the wing, function of the tail, why, why does it work that way? Uh, it's a combination of both, but uh, you know, in this airplane, when you, when you do a, what we would call a traditional stall, uh, you, you, the wing on this aircraft is not, you're not losing boundary layer separation. You, the wing is still flying at slow speeds. You still have laminar flow on it. And uh, with this airplane, we've, we, we've, we're experimenting with some new tail designs. Uh, and that has a lot to do with it as well. New engine in this, uh, the tight 180 horsepower from a Continental, DCI Continental. Been very popular uh, in, among uh, the uh, LSA entrants. What were some of the challenges of getting that uh, into this airplane? We talked a little bit about weight and about uh, getting it cool. Yeah, I mean, the cooling presented some challenges uh, that I think we've, we're overcoming. Uh, the other thing we had to do with this fuselage, uh, Troy Woodland uh, basically redesigned the fuselage. It's two feet longer uh, than our traditional Superstone, and that's to accommodate the heavier weights of the motor. Of course, we have uh, new motor mount attach points, uh, and of course the Dynafocal type motor mount for the motor. Now the previous engine, or one engine available in this airplane was the UL. What's the weight difference? Uh, they're very comparable. Uh, this is the ECI type motor. This motor came in weight-wise on our scales around the 260-265 uh, weight. Whereas the UL was around the 255 weight. So it's very, very similar uh, in weight. Now I didn't, uh, I didn't notice that two foot longer fuselage when I walked up the airplane. I guess you would notice unless they were side by side, but that makes it a significantly uh, larger airplane. Correct. And, and you mentioned to me that it has a new tail design, a new tail section. Right. Uh, we have more of a flying uh, tail. It's a more of an airfoil shape. Uh, with strikes on each side, so roll stability has really been improved. It actually improved the top speed of the airplane as well. And we look to incorporate that on our smaller uh, Rotax powered uh, super stalls uh, in the near future. And let's talk a little bit about that uh, performance. Uh, what kind of uh, uh, climb and cruise are you likely to see in this with the Titan? With the Titan, uh, when we flew it down from South Carolina yesterday at 4,500 feet, uh, we were indicating uh, roughly about 108 to 110 miles an hour, and that was about 65-70% uh, best power. And the uh, climb rate, uh, we haven't really checked it on the instrumentation yet, but I would think with this power and this wing you can easily get 1,500 to 2,000? 2, uh, 2,000 plus uh, with this. And we have some really nice combinations and props from uh, Craig Cato, and uh, he's he's really figured out to get 100% out of this motor. Uh, let's talk about the really rather spectacular performance you get on takeoff and landing in this. Well, you know, it's a fairly simple tailwheel airplane to fly. Uh, we basically just get the aircraft up on the step. 
uh, accelerate on the step for a short period. Once it's on the step, it's ready to fly. Uh, so we pull about half flaps on it, put a nice healthy rotate, increase that angle of attack, and just uh, just hold on. Yeah, I noticed on the first takeoff uh, I tried, it's, uh, it's almost startling how soon it is uh, that it's ready to fly. Right. And you kind of have to an anticipate that and say, as soon as I rotate this and get the tail up, I've really got to rotate it and get it flying. Yep. It's ready to go. And, and, and for people that have been flying a traditional Cub or Satabria, uh, we're used to putting energy on the airplane on the step and then just kind of flying it off the runway. Uh, it's, it's something that's rather new with with this airplane. So it, everything happens a little bit quicker. Let's so talk a little bit about the kit, uh, when the kit's available, if it isn't already, and uh, what a little include. Uh, the kits are readily available. Our traditional Superstore kit sells for 41700 The Stretch XL kit is $2,500 more. Okay, and uh, how about the engine? The engine's available through uh, ECI Titan. And, uh, Depending on uh, price and the options that you get with the motor, uh, you're roughly in about the $27,000, $28,000 price range for the motor. Basically, that pow when you add that power and ground effect, then you can kind of start raising your nose just a little bit and just try to get the tailwheel to touch down first. Really? But all the while, you know, keep it level with your feet. Okay. So drive it into ground effect and make a smooth transition. Go ahead and add some power here and start raising that nose. Just hold that attitude right there. And when you feel it touch down, scrub your power. There you go. <laughs> so this tail touch down first. Yeah. You got scare the shit out of me, Harrison. <laughs> okay, now that Harrison has shown me how to do a tailwheel first tailwheel landing, I'll <laughs> clean out my shorts. <laughs> you can find out more about this airplane at uh, Just Aircraft at JustAircraft.com. Brad Webb and Kid Plane, Don Paul Bruder, reporting from Sun and Sun 20.